Man, Rain Dakota just got paid. Let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? My name is Derek P. Fields, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Make sure to hit that notification bell after you subscribe, because here we talk all things football. Well, in case you've been living under a rock, Mr. Rain Dakota Prescott, the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, will sign a franchise tag tender that will make him the seventh highest paid quarterback in the National Football League. He will be under Russell Wilson, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers, Jared Goff, Kirk Cousins and Carson Wentz with Matt Ryan, Ryan Tannehill, and Jacoby Brissett rounding out the top 10. And in case you guys were wondering, as Detroit Lions fans, our Matthew Stafford is now the 12th highest played quarterback in the league. There was a time that this conversation was revolving one Matthew Stafford. But even with this, there's been rumors that Dakota has passed on 33 million and he's looking for 40. A long-term deal worth $40 million a year. I'm sorry I couldn't really get that out without laughing because this is absolutely hilarious in my opinion. Dak Prescott was drafted in the fourth round in 2016 by the Dallas Cowboys. And since then, he had his best year throwing for almost 5,000 yards in the 2019 season. But if you look to the touchdown to interception ratio for every three touchdowns he threw, he threw one interception. That's not completely horrid in my opinion. I will say this as well. Up until now, Rain Dakota Prescott did not have a stellar rookie contract. He was paid $1.1 million in 2016, less than $1 million in 2017, man, half a million dollars in 2018, with his biggest payout being last year, which was also ironically his best year, at $2.1 million for a total payout of $4.9 million. That is insane. After the $30 million that he's going to get with the $4 million that he already received, Dakota Prescott's total payout will be just over $36 million. My question for Dallas Cowboy fans, and I think I already know what the answer is going to be. Do you believe that Rain Dakota Prescott was worth $33 million? As a Detroit Lions fan, and my quarterback is Matthew Stafford, a couple years ago, Matthew Stafford was once the highest paid quarterback in the league. I want to say it was about $27 million that he was getting paid at the time. Matthew Stafford has not won a playoff game. The difference, in my opinion, between a Matthew Stafford and a Rain Dakota Prescott, Matthew Stafford has never had an Ezekiel Elliott. Matthew Stafford has never had one of the best offensive lines in football. Matthew Stafford has not been in the same situation as the Dallas Cowboy quarterback, Dakota Prescott. Do I think that Dak is worth $33 million? That's going to be a resounding no. But I do understand that the quarterback market is going to go up increasingly year after year after year. If Tom Brady and Drew Brees in their 40s can get 25 to 30 million dollars a year it's only going to make sense that those guys who are 26 get the same if not a better contract my hope is that a fair share of dallas cowboys fans see this video please inform me if you think that rain dakota prescott was worth 31 million dollars and do you think jerry jones will sign him to a long-term deal in my opinion jerry jones is trying to see if Rain Dakota Prescott is the guy that he wants to be led into the future with. Now, here's my opinion. You have a backup quarterback and one Mr. Andy Dalton. I don't think Andy Dalton was that great in Cincinnati. However, he did take them to the playoffs multiple times. They just couldn't win one. So my thoughts are, this is another year, prove it year for Mr. Dak Prescott. And just maybe if he does, if Jerry Jones doesn't like what he sees, there is a possibility that a quarterback could be drafted in the 2021 draft and or the team could be led next year by one Andy Dalton, formerly of the Cincinnati Bengals. My name is Derek P. Fields and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of every single video because I talk all things football. Ladies and gentlemen, the hope is that we'll get a 2020 NFL season. 
I believe it's going to happen because we need sports at this time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.